Hey guys, it's Tanya, and I am the Tuesday vlogger for the Back to Basics WLS channel, and it's Tuesday. Sorry I missed last week. I was still recovering from um, Vegas, and I still haven't done a video about Vegas yet. It's coming. It's just my life has been crazy lately. I've been, went to Vegas, and then this weekend we went to Houston, and um, I'm back in town this week, and then next week we go out of town again. So, I'm just been like boom, boom, boom. Anyway, um, the, what I want to talk about this week is... Um, some things that I've changed up a little bit in my plan in the last few weeks that seem to be working. And so, since this is back to basics, I thought this might be a good place to share. Um, two things. Um, I don't know, if, for those of you who are subscribed to my regular um, uh, YouTube channel, you know that I had a big loss this week after Vegas. I was down 5.1 pounds, which I know is like shocking it was shocking for me too but um, I've done a couple of things to change things up and I guess it's working um, obviously uh, I don't know hopefully it'll stick you know so far it is so this is what I'm doing when I when I went to Vegas I decided I wasn't gonna track my food because it was just gonna be too difficult I knew I would be eating out a lot I knew they would be um, the vendors there given free samples of things and it, you know it's just that gets to be impossible to try and track every little bite and you have no clue and so I thought I'm just not going to stress about it I knew I would be drinking um, when I drink I do try and choose the alcohol with the least amount of caloric impact so I usually do vodka and cranberry uh, preferably diet cranberry if um, I'm mixing my own drinks which I really don't drink that often but anyway um, so that's what I did. I just um, tried to make the best food choices while I was there. I did eat some snacky foods, but I brought tons of stuff with me. I brought my turkey jerky. I brought um, Quest bars. I had, um, we went to the grocery and I got my almond milk to do uh, shakes. I brought protein powder with me. I got baby bell cheeses and strawberries. So I had lots of things, access to lots of things that were healthy. And that's what I stuck with, uh, for the most part. I did eat some other little snacky foods, but for the most part, I stuck to the plan. Sorry. Um, of course, I did tons and tons and tons of walking in Vegas. And But something that I've started doing, uh, I started doing right before Vegas, and I've been sticking with it, is, I, you know, I'm an accountant. I don't know if, if I've ever said that, but I'm an accountant, and I'm stuck to the desk um, all day, on the computer, all day. And so, if... If I'm not going to the gym to exercise, um, I'm just not getting that much activity in during the day. And so, um, for Mother's Day, I'd ask for a Fitbit. Not because I think that it really tells you how many calories you truly burn, because I don't know how you can really even gauge that. Um, but just to kind of give me motivation to see how um, active or not active I really am. And it's really, it really is working. It really works well. I got the um, the Fitbit one that you, I put it in my bra. And um, so what I've been doing is at least once a day, if not twice a day at work, I make myself get up from my desk. I have some little mule tennis shoes that I keep under my desk. And I go outside and I do a 10 to 15 minute walk around my building. If I go around my building seven times, that's one mile. I tracked it the other day. I have my... Um, track my walk app and um so if I do it you know a couple times a day that's two miles and so I've started doing that at least once a day uh to just to get in some extra steps and then if I go to the gym at night or if I walk a 5k at night um in the neighborhood that's just bonus and so I'm trying and trying trying to get to 10,000 steps a day I can't really do it every single day because I do find that my hips and my knees start to bother me with my arthritis so I'm trying to be careful with that but I'm just trying to keep moving as much as possible and I definitely feel like it's doing something I've been a lot more active with vacation and with Ed and that and, and uh, recently and it seems to be working so um, so I'm not tracking my food what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to read my body signals I think what I was getting caught up in and I think I touched on this a few weeks ago when I did a video about tracking is that my my calorie goal for the day is always 1200 and I think what I was doing was even if I was satisfied um, with what I had eaten for the day if I had a couple extra if I was at like a thousand calories and I knew I had a couple hundred extra calories I would eat something more at night I'd eat peanut butter or I'd eat um 
a bowl of like sugar-free low-fat ice cream, which I mean it's not bad, but I think I was, you know, eating to my max calories and not reading my body signals. And so I'm trying to do more of reading my body signals, always picking protein first, um, making sure I'm not drinking for 45 minutes after my meal, you know, sticking with the core back to basic rules. And it seems to be working. And I'm really trying hard not to add up calories in my head throughout the day. Um, because, of course, I've been eating this way for 18 months. I know what I'm doing. And I, I wouldn't recommend this to a newbie. But for somebody who's a bit further out, um, I know how much calories are in the basic foods that I eat. I know how many protein, how many carbs. I mean, net carbs are in the core foods that I eat. Because I eat basically the same things throughout the week. Um, so I'm trying not to add it up in my head because if I do and I know I have extra calories left over at the end of the day, it's a total mind game. I'm, I'm going to eat those extra calories. But if I don't add it up and I'm satisfied, I'm going to just let it be. So anyway, um, the other thing that I've done or I haven't done since Vegas, uh, when I was in Vegas, I didn't have any yogurt with me. And I, I, did, I purposely didn't get it because I didn't want to be bothered having to mix stuff up. And when I saw that big drop in the scale, I thought, hmm, you know, I eat a lot of Greek yogurt. I eat at least a cup of yogurt a day, um, every single day. And, you know, with fruit and with a little Cool Whip in it. And so, I don't know if just stepping away from that has, you know, changed things up a bit. I mean, I don't think there's anything bad in Greek yogurt. I really don't. I mean, as probably in the Cool Whip that I add in it, there's a little sugar, but I don't really think I add enough to make that big of a difference, um, but maybe just cutting out that snack every day has changed things up. I do plan on adding it back in at least a couple times a week because I love my Greek yogurt, um, but I'm taking just a couple of weeks off. Thursday will be two weeks since I had uh, Greek yogurt, and so I'm just going to see, you know, how I keep progressing. Um, I go back to my bariatric surgeon tomorrow for my 18-month follow-up, and I am going to ask him about the stomach acid uh, issue. I do find that taking that, that acid reducer twice a day has really cut the hunger that I was feeling, which I guess wasn't really hunger. It was probably stomach acid, but I am going to address it with him, and I will come back next week and talk to you all about that, and I'll let you know what he says and recommends. Um, that's all I have for this week. Next week, I am going to be on vacation, and I do plan on doing a recipe video while I'm on vacation. I have a dessert recipe, which is not super high protein, but it is super low calorie and super low sugar. And so I thought, um, you know, you all might enjoy something. It's a nice, refreshing uh, summertime recipe. I tried it for Mother's Day. It was absolutely delicious. It was a hit with the whole family, not just me. And my mom, who enjoy healthy options, but even my dad and my husband and the kids really liked it too. So I plan on making uh, making that while we're on vacation. So I will be back next week with that video. Y'all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.